Drummers, we don't sit on seats. No, we sit on thrones. And you would expect a throne to be something special. You want it to be very aesthetically pleasing, you want it to be strong, and you want it to be stable. This Mapex drum throne, it's got all of that, bar one, and that thing is so annoying that it's not worth the money. Just a little background info guys, I've been using this for over a year now, maybe about 130 shows, so I have spent a lot of time with it. We'll start right down at the bottom. Now unfortunately these are plastic feet, not rubber feet, which is a bit of a letdown, but it's still not a deal breaker. The legs are strong, they're double braced, which you'll find on most of the higher end hardware. They're also curved for more strength. That's all joined together with a brace on each leg, and that can be tightened up by a wing nut. You can control the height of the legs with this little component here and it can be loosened with an allen key. I've never used it and I really don't see the point of it. You can remove the whole leg section if you want. You just have to have a specific allen key. I would assume this is if you ever break anything that you can just get a part to replace it. The steel spine section is solid. The wing nut has never really given me any problem. It's still strong as day one and it's so smooth going up and down. The range should keep everybody happy. It goes from a very small 45 centimeters all the way up to a very big 66 centimeters. As you would expect, it's got the memory cast lock and there's a lovely little design where it can just fit straight into the base. So it will always be set at the right height. This is the part that really sold it to me was this color and the fabric that's on the saddle. If you've never tried out a throne with the saddle, because that's what this shape is, it is slightly different to the circular one, so that might be something you want to keep in mind. Just on the side here, we have a lovely leather kind of finish with a little bit of branding on the side, which I really do enjoy. It's stapled down to the wood that's here. Everything seems to be stapled very, very well. Nothing has come undone. This connection, which the uh, spine is attached to, is all screwed in, very nice. It's never come loose, the actual connection. The finish, on the top is this lovely red fabric and you can see there's some light stitching up here right next to the leather where they both uh, come together and that's a real nice touch in aesthetics. It's lasted over a year with no huge sides of wear. There's a small little bit where your legs come down at the side. That's not a huge issue. It's kind of what you would expect after a year. So it's strong. It looks great. So what's the problem? The problem starts when you attach the saddle to the steel spine. Now, just like you would think, you attach it and you get a bit of wobble. So like any intelligent drummer, you reach down for the wing nut and you give it a tighten and you make sure that it's tightened to the last. And that should sort out the issue, but it doesn't. No amount of workouts in the gym will get you strong enough to tighten this. It's impossible. This is the area where the problem lies. Look, this chair retails for about 150 euros at the moment. In the States, you're probably going to get it a bit cheaper. The whole fundamental point of a drum throne is that it's strong and that it can be stable. This is not stable whatsoever. Now, if this was a cheap chair, I would understand. But if you fork out over 100 bucks, it should at least have the fundamentals right. Now, imagine playing a three hour gig on this. It can be very annoying, and if you suffer from seasickness, you're absolutely screwed. But to be serious, you can get a drum throne for this price that may not look as good, but it certainly will get the fundamentals right. So guys and girls, if you're thinking about picking this up, I would look elsewhere. There's plenty of other thrones for you to rest your sweet behind on. Clearly this is not a paid review guys, I do these reviews to show you what's good and what's bad. Please hit the like button, let me know what you think. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Maybe you have this and you think it's the best throne in the world. I want to know down in the comment sections. Follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And until the next one, take it easy, have a good one, bye bye. Guys, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you like what you've seen here today, you can see a lot more videos. Just click on any of them here on the screen.